Hi everyone and welcome to this video about the installation of Crest HDRP. That's a new version of Crest we're just about to release which targets the high definition render pipeline in Unity. So you might already have a project that has HDRP installed. Here I'm going to assume that we're starting from absolute scratch. Um, so to set up a new HDR project we would click new from the Unity Hub um, and then select the high definition render pipeline uh, template and then give the project a name uh, like so. Uh, so I've already done that so we don't have to watch that import um, and this is what you get when you create a new HDRP project. So the next step would be to install Crest HDRP from the uh, asset store window in Unity. We haven't actually published the asset yet so here I've just imported a local package uh, but a window should pop up something like this uh, and it allows you to select what files you want to import under Crest and uh, just like with the other versions of Crest uh, there's two kind of main areas of content Crest the first one is the core content in Crest so all the features and functionality in Crest depend on these files so this is the core uh, the Crest examples folder is uh, examples illustrative scenes and demos uh, that show how to use the ocean system and this stuff is optional but if it's the first time you're using Crest I would recommend importing everything as a first step so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and import okay so after a minute or two it should import all of the Crest content and we can see a new folder under assets called Crest and we'll just make our way to one of the examples right now so let's just take the main example scene and open it so uh, if we press play now we should see an error in the log the first time you run uh, and it's complaining that there's a layer terrain that it wants to exist in the project that's just the example content across the core con content doesn't require this layer but I use it in the examples so that error message is saying that we um, need to add this layer to the project so we can do that in the project settings go to tags and layers layers and then we can add that layer called terrain um, just so the example demo can find it so if we press play again uh, so yeah that seems to be running uh, let's just hide the uh, so hide the GUI uh, so yeah that's kind of um, the current look of Crest HDRP and that seems to be working. There's one aspect of it that won't work out of the box uh, which is the underwater effect. This is obviously all covered in the documentation so in the user guide by the way but I'll go through it here as well in the video. So if we take the camera underwater we see that that looks broken. Um, so to get that to work um, there's a step where we need to go to the project settings and actually enable the um, underwater post process under the HDRP default settings section and then we want to add it to the before post process list uh, so if we hit up the plus sign and click underwater post process uh, from Crest um, and that should do the trick so if I press play now then you see that underwater is working in this project and that's all looking good. Okay, so with that we have pretty good coverage of the HDRP installation of Crest. There's obviously much more you can do to set up the ocean and install it into a scene, but for that I'm going to point you to our existing videos. One of them is this Crest Ocean System Getting Started video on our YouTube, and that covers a bunch of aspects of setting it up and what's in the example scenes and more information. Um, besides that, we have a few others one that I think will be quite interesting to people is the basics of adding ocean inputs. This other video, depth cache usage and setup, that shows how to configure a seabed in more detail, uh, which is an important aspect of an ocean setup. And there's a few other videos that you can browse there, but I think that's a wrap. Thank you very much for listening.